All right, next day we are driving the 15 Ram that we just worked on last night. So pretty much what we are doing now is I've put coolant in it. I've cleared the check engine light. Um, it's still yelling at me for the electronic throttle, which I don't know why it's doing that because that doesn't even exist. So it's doing that little flashy thing at the bottom. So we're driving it now. We're going to see how it performs. We're getting it warmed up. Filled it up with diesel last night. I need to go measure the trailer axles uh, to see how far apart they are because we have some brand new suspension coming aftermarket stuff it's gonna I think it's like five or six hundred bucks to order everything uh, one of you guys sent it to me so I appreciate that so we're gonna get that thing ordered because we have a healthy amount of money hitting the account this month um, even though it's not all technically revenue it's still just money that we're recouping so we got the CRV sold for 2200 we got the white truck hopefully the guys picking it up tomorrow for 4500 bucks so that's sixty seven hundred dollars that's just money that just gets thrown into the account. We have, um, on top of that, another 22,000 hitting the account, minus the 20% gross, and do what I need to do to the trailer. We're gonna get some brass or copper bushings. I forget what they were exactly. Um, so we're doing that. It's just all aftermarket stuff. Get rid of those shitty equalizers, and we've already got the brand new tires. So everything's good there. We're definitely not gonna worry about some maintenance for a while, so we'll be doing pretty much everything. I just needed to get some part numbers and everything, so we got the whole kit. I just need to measure and see if my trailer axles are either 33 inches apart or 35 inches apart to make sure that we get the correct uh, equalizers, so if you say. And then the, oh, I completely forgot. The winch cable is sitting at home. The, we got snatch blocks. They're sitting at home. We have two brand new snatch blocks with chains. I got um, a tow strap, so everything's there. We just need to fix the power and ground wires for the winch. That should be it. The trailer is 100% for now. Um, we'll, we'll cut those trailer mounts off at some point, but yeah, we're gonna get these measured quick and I will let you know how that goes. In the meantime, here is the 2015 Ram. This thing, this thing runs a lot better. He's been messing with the transmission and whatnot. So when we get there, I'm also gonna check the transmission fluid on this thing but we did just fill it up with a wee bit of coolant this morning. So it took like another two gallons on top of that. So not too bad, four gallons total. And this thing, when it comes to a stop, just wants to, really wants to keep going. Oh, let's see. A lot better than it was. Now we have the exhaust brake. Let me put down the back window. I can never get over that sound and I can't wait to get it working in my truck, the exhaust brake, because we have everything we need. I just need to decide, because I can't find any throttle cables that are like really long. So I may have found some, but I haven't ordered them yet. And I went to Napa and they did not have it. So I need, I need to figure that out. Um, but if we can't figure it out, then I'm just gonna go ahead and order the wastegate solenoids and then we'll just weld them on next weekend. Get going. Yeah, sounds, this thing sounds really good actually for only having a four inch exhaust. All right, so just since we just did the tranny service, we are going to put it in tow haul mode, see how the transmission does. I'm not sure exactly how much he tows, but we'll try it out. Make sure it shifts fine. Make sure it locks up all right. Make sure the exhaust brake does what it needs to do. I love that sound though. Oh man. And the, the exhaust brakes on this truck, these Rams are so much better than they are in the Fords and the Chevys. If you were, if there was only like, the exhaust brake is very important when towing. I don't know how these guys do it with the GMs and the Fords, but yeah, this, this is just so much better. Let me get that back the window down the whole way. You guys can get a sound clip of it.
All right, I'd say everything works pretty well. So now we'll get to the trailer. We should be good here. Um, I would like to drive it on the highway just to make sure everything's good, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, everything seems like it's checking out pretty good. Plenty of power, torque converter's locking up when it should. I think we're golden. All right, so to catch the people up who didn't see the video before, this is basically what we're working with. So I got everything up and going. I just need to fix this line right here. New winch cable is, it's a 32,500 pound rated nylon. They're a lot safer than what I had on it before. And you guys can see, obviously, no shit Sherlock. The equalizers are shot. So, especially on the other side, it's shot. So we're gonna be replacing this style of equalizer. We have a different style with brass or copper bushings. I can't remember what they were. A lot nicer than we got going on. They're greasable. They're a really good design uh, from what I've heard. So the salt is just eating this thing away. Can't wait to get this thing cleaned off and whatnot. I should have washed it beforehand, but I could go wash it and then we're just gonna get more salt all over it. So we'll get it sprayed off. I wanna, I don't know what we'll do in the long term on this trailer, but let's measure it. We'll see. Pretty sure it's 33 from 33 inch wheelbase. Because I would assume that a tandem would be the, the bigger wheelbase. All right, so the wheelbase, just to remind myself, is 34 from center to center on each one of them. So for me to order all this stuff, I mean, it, it's pretty pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Forget your name, but I appreciate you for sending it to me because I'm gonna get it ordered today. So hopefully we should have it by next week, so. And then here is the 15 Ram. We're gonna go through it, check, make sure that there is no leaks. Hopefully there's no leaks. I don't see any leaks, no coolant, no tranny, no fuel. That's a good sign. I'm gonna go take it and park it somewhere on like some snow or something so that it's all white underneath to make sure that we don't have any leaks. All right, so I did it. I went and ordered the new shackles. It was $663 and it will be here Wednesday. So it's actually bronze bushings. So it's gonna replace all the plastic bullshit. I might have a load on Wednesday or on Tuesday, I mean. So if everything comes in and whatnot, I will definitely take a day to go ahead and do everything. Um, I went and also got a cap. So I'm gonna, it's a little cold outside, but I, I'm just, it's a short distance. I'll shut the truck off anyway. I didn't want to do that, but whatever. So let's, let's show you guys what I got. Okay, back at the trailer. I, the only thing, I forgot to measure, I'm pretty sure it's right, um, the leaf packs. Leaf springs should be two and a quarter, according to what I ordered. So, let's see what we got here. We got snatch blocks. These are what I originally wanted because I can use these snatch blocks on these D-rings. I can use them around here. I can use them pretty much on everything. What I had before limited me. I had to use the grating and putting them on this was a great way to break it. So like there's a few things like this one here, I need to fix this one and then there's a couple on the end I need to fix. Um, I went and got a toe strap that's way skinnier than I was hoping and then I got this guy here. Um, I'm going to have to cut the end from what I was doing some research on. I'm going to have to cut the end, burn a couple of threads off, wrap it in electrical tape so that it can fit in here and there's been a lot of people that have done that and it's been successful it needs to fit in that hole we also need to take off this guy here so we'll get that off because this apparently will rub on it and destroy the cable so it is not super cold out today but i don't have gloves so i'm gonna try to get done whatever i can um i need to find a spot to put these snatch blocks where they won't get stolen but i'd like to keep them somewhere like I might hang them up on something and then put like a lock through. We'll we'll see what we have to do, but basically that's it. So between everything, we did tires. That was 400 bucks. We bought the shackles. That was 663. So we're into it about 1,063 plus 150. That brings it up to 1,210. Just about if I'm doing my math correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Then another 150 bucks. So we spent about 1,300 some dollars on the trailer to get everything going. Yeah, I now remember why I did power only because ye, that um, 
it's nice being home every day, but goodness gracious, this thing is super happy with stealing my money. So we'll do that. So we're going to get those on first, and then I'm going to start doing some research online for some shock absorber kits. Unless, tell me what your guys' opinions are. Should I do this and get the shock absorber kits, or should I go get torsion axles? What makes more sense? What is more durable? Because from what I'm seeing with the torsion axles, they're super expensive, but are they worth it? Whereas with this, all I need to do is get a shock absorber kit, and then this should relatively be a super easy to maintain setup, especially with bronze bushings that are greasable. Let me know what you guys think from experience because I have less experience with actually maintaining and owning a trailer than I did actually just pulling trailers. Like it's super easy for me to just do a wheel bearing on the side of the road or something stupid like that. Whereas now I actually own something. It's like I've had this trailer for so long. I've replaced the brakes on this thing. I've replaced all the tires now. So now we just need to do all that on. I, I want to get some shock absorbers. So. And this thing, it's a shame how quick that goes through. So this joint here, that's probably bad as well. I also got, because I could have gotten it cheaper. I could have got it for like 500 bucks, saved myself some money, and just ordered the front kit twice. But apparently there's a, uh, the, a specific one for triple axles. So it keeps the center axle from like moving back and forth. So happy, uh, happy I spent the extra money on that. But now let's get this trailer 100% and bulletproof for what I can do and then Wednesday we'll come back at it and do the rest so so I will say this is gonna be probably a little bit more maintenance it's like 92 feet <laughs> and this deck's only 46 so here she is it's all mounted up and it really covers that winch cable you really got to wrap it correctly so there's what she looks like. Um, I may end up cutting this down a lot. And I did have to cut these nubs here. So that way this wasn't rubbing on that. So boom, she's done. Had to temporarily throw this on there. I'm going to cut this cable down and do some new jumpers. And a lot of guys, I get it, um, been telling me to run some Anderson connectors and I don't really want to connect all the way to the back I just I don't want to do it I might someday but for now it's just not uh, not what I'm gonna do not what I want to do so throw that stuff back there trailer is done for the day for the most part just got to wrap that cable up so that should be it all we really got to do yet is those equalizers which like I said will be Wednesday and then this guy here, I just threw a new cap on it. You can see it's the only one that's not all salted up. So probably run this on Tuesday, possibly Wednesday, and then we'll fix it then. So it's still fine. I've seen trailers a lot worse getting run, and I'm only local anyway, so I only go a couple hundred miles. Not an OTR driver like I used to be. And I don't think I'll ever do OTR again, I can tell you that. Because it is super easy to be home every day if you know what you're doing. All right, that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Just uh, you know, just a mosey Sunday, just doing whatever. Got his truck done. He's on the way to come pay for that. So we'll have that out of here. As always, go check out Celsius.network and Coinbase links down in the description. Go check out my affiliate links. I just added a bunch of other stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, send me an email or an Instagram message. Appreciate you. See ya. Safe travels. Later.